I'm Dilly Den. I'm doing a bit of a sewing project today. I'm making a 20-sided jean dice. Jace! 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 <laughs> I've repaired these jeans too many times, so they're being recycled. First, I started off by tracing and cutting out 20 triangles. This was where a number of mistakes occurred. I tried to use a colored pencil to trace out the pattern, but it wouldn't show up on the denim, so I used Posca. The second mistake was that I really should have turned the jeans inside out to trace out the pattern, so that the lines wouldn't show, and also they'd be easier to sew the dice ball inside out. Like, what makes sense? Sometimes I make things harder for myself while sewing, and this is just like how it goes. I am not good at sewing, I just enjoy it, and that's fine. Then I'm going through and embroidering numbers on each of the triangles. I'm very excited about this thread, it actually glows in the dark. I love glow in the dark stuff, it's the best. After I got all of the numbers sewn up, I'm going to start connecting them together. This is the part where I should have put the lines on the back. It made it kind of difficult to tell where I should be sewing, but I made it work. I wanted to get all of the pieces connected before starting to pull them up into a ball shape. What you want to happen for a 20-sided dice is to have five seams meet together every time they meet. I inevitably did at least one section where I connected six together and had to rip out a seam and fix it. It's happened every time I've made one of these dice. I don't know. Finally, I flipped it inside out and stuffed it full of fluff. After I filled it up, I did a ladder stitch with the last open seam and closed it up. Yay, dice! And then let's see it with the lights off. Whoop! I think it would glow better if I used more threads for the embroidery or made the numbers thicker, but it's still very neat. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to continue on this art journey with me. Bye!